Hey yo, so I want to do a quick history video on this girl right here. Boom! That is my drawing of her, and here's the real image of her. Okay, back to my drawing. <sniffs> the woman in the picture is, and please cut me some slack, Maria Vosvlia Oktabriaskia. And she bought a tank to avenge her husband's death. Cool, right? Alright! So Maria was born in Russia in 1905. She was raised in the Krimsky Peninsula. She had nine other siblings, and they were very poor. When she got older, she had a couple jobs. One was in a cannery, and when she became a little bit older, a telephone operator. One day in 1925, she married her husband. Her husband's name was Ilya Aptebraska. Her husband was a Soviet army officer. And of course, she slowly became interested in her husband's calling, aka the army. Eventually, she joined a group called Military Wives Council. Anyways, fast forward a couple years when the Second World War started. Maria was evacuated to a town called Tomsk in Siberia. During this time, her husband sadly died while fighting. However, she didn't learn about it till two years after he died. And we complain about same-day shipping. When she was told that he died, she was devastated. But that sadness quickly turned to anger, and the anger quickly turned into revenge. Maria sold everything she owned and straight up bought a T-34 tank that she named the Fighting Girlfriend. She went to the Russian army and said that she would give them the tank under one condition. She would have to be the one to drive it. The State Defense Committee were shocked, but considered it. Eventually, they brought up the situation to Stalin, and after some talking, he agreed. So now Maria was put into the training course that lasted five months, where she learned everything about tanks and how to operate them. Once her training ended, she got put in the army as a tank driver and engineer for the fighting girlfriend. She was assigned to the 26 Guards Tank Brigade. But of course, all her jarhead comrades laughed and joked, saying that she was just a publicity stunt. Let me just say, they insulted the wrong woman. The time came when she could prove herself. Her and her whole team she was in were sent to fight in a battle in Smolensk. She ended up being a great tank driver. She basically dodged and weaved heavy fire with her tank. Out of all the tanks, hers did the most damage to the German troops. Okay, this is where her Russianness shines. Her tank was hit and took a bunch of damage on the tracks not allowing it to move. But, because she was tougher than 80% of the guys I know, she got out of the tank and started to repair it. While they were being shot at. Eventually she ended up getting it fixed and hopped back in. And just started lighting up the Germans again. Eventually the Germans retreated and the Russians won that battle. In fact, she was promoted to sergeant because of that battle. And I could just imagine. The look she probably gave her daughters probably had the strength and the power to cut through metal. A month later she was fighting in a town called Navaje Xiao. I probably said that wrong. She was ordered to go help another team in another part of town. So they headed over. On their way there, they ran over a tank landmine and it broke the tank. They got ambushed by Germans right after. And Maria, once again not giving a crap about bullets, got out of the tank and made repairs with her crewmate while getting shot at, mind you. Her crewmates in the tank gave her cover fire to keep the Germans far away. Eventually, they fixed the tank. And the Germans most likely ran because you don't want to fight a moving tank. Anyways, I put in that story to show that her bravery wasn't just a one-time adrenaline-filled mistake. She wanted to fix her tank mid-battle. This lady was a dictionary definition for strong Russian woman. Two months after that, on January 17th, 1944, she was part of an attack on Sviri during the Leningrad Nogro offensive. Of course, her tank once again did the most damage. She took out machine gun stations, German tanks, and trenches. Eventually, the tank took too much damage and stalled. And of course, she got out to make repairs. Unfortunately, this time a shell went off nearby and a shrapnel hit her in the head. She was knocked unconscious. After the battle ended, she was sent to a field hospital where she stayed in a coma for two months. And she sadly died after that. This ending is way more depressing than the last videos I did. But I wanted her story to get out there because she deserves to be known. She was a symbol of courage and was given the honor of being hero of Russia. Despite all the challenges she faced, she overcame them and helped Russia in the tiny way she could, assisting in helping World War II along with millions of other soldiers. So anyways, that is the story of Maria Otobraska, a brave Russian woman who avenged her husband's death and was the driver of her own tank, the Fighting Girlfriend.